in you. Because of the increasing number of jobs, the multiplication. Uh, this is an amazing multiplication because, uh, I mean, many people think that the giraffes are having been translocated from a different area and brought here, probably the environment, butter them and maybe we we'll lose them. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't happen. We are very happy that people are coming to see the giraffe. You know, uh, if you are driving from maybe making more and you are to see giraffes, don't run the first to go to we have giraffes here, here. But if you are driving from the Queen, for instance, and you want to see giraffes, you don't have to go to Marshall to see giraffes. Because you know, Mburu is the next park and the nearest to the you can see giraffes. One of the parks where I think it was where Ilan is talking about. Know. So I guess it has had an impact in terms of positive impact in terms of our tourism, but also uh, boosting the tourism products. With it. Grow between a height of 4.5 to 5.7 meters high. Males can as well grow and reach six meters high. And the patterns on their body, when you look at them, you can observe that. And those rectangular patterns do not cover the whole body. They stop on their knees. And from the knees downwards, they are all white. You can observe that when you look at them. And those patterns on their body look different from one another, just like our fingerprints. If you take in interest and observe, you can at least see some features that look different from one another. And when you look at this, they are inside the skin. So they are muscles covered with a skin called the oscons. And their main purpose is to protect the head from injuries. Whenever these giraffes are fighting amongst each other or amongst themselves, they do fight with their necks, a process that we call necking. So in the process of necking, they can damage the head. So those oscons that you're seeing protect the head from injuries. Both males and females have oscons. But when you look at this one in front of us, you can clearly see the three oscons on the head. Two big ones on the head, <coughs> the third one on the forehead. But when you look at the females, they have two smaller ones on the head. They fight for mating rights. The females don't need to fight for mating rights. So the reason these males need the bigger oscons compared to the females. These giraffes can live together, both males and females, but they do fight for mating rights. When the males fight and others become losers, they would either become docile and hang around, or they will move away, avoid fights. So several males can be seen in a herd, but when there is only one who is exercising the mating right. Leopards can hunt for the newly born giraffes when they are still very small, because leopards prefer going for smaller animals. So currently, they don't have many predators within the park. One of the reasons why the giraffes were brought in Lake Mburo National Park was to help in habitat manipulation. In the past, our park was more of the open grassland savanna, but because of climatic changes, seed dispersal, it's more of the woodland savanna than the grassland savanna, and most of the small grazers that we have prefer to graze within the shorter area, uh, the, the open areas where they can easily see what comes towards around them while they are feeding. So in case they sight their predators, they can always run and hide. So when these giraffes are eating on the trees, they break them down, make some of the trees dry up as they peel off the backs of these trees, leave them exposed to direct sunlight and they dry up. If you look around, we have so many termite mounds. These termites play a very big role in the ecosystem as they try to eat and decompose on any of the dead matter.